See, it says rotate your phone. It thought it was off balance, that's all it was. Hi! Hello! We are back. This is day two. Why is it fuzzy on this side? I don't know. Hello. Uh, yes, this is day two. We need, yeah. Mm. Um, hold on one moment. Why is it on this side? It's dark, it seems like. Is it something blocking the lens? No! I don't know. No. Nothing's blocking the lens, honey. Hi, Cassie. Sorry, we're having technical difficulties. Does it look all dark where this hand is? Ooh. Anyway, so this is uh, day two and we're not very happy. Um, we have, uh, I have a um, headache. I have, uh, uh, it's like my head is one big pile of cotton balls. And when I sit down to work at the computer and the thoughts are difficult to process and all I can think about is um, coffee. Pretty much, yeah, the want for coffee. You know, I'm gonna turn that light on back here. A little dark, huh? I don't know what that, oh yeah, maybe it's that. Oh, I get it. That help? Is this? Yeah, a little, a little bit. So, uh, no, that didn't help, okay. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So, we have the same yummy, uh, green sludge today, except the camera is closer now, so it's a little bit more difficult to show you stuff. And green sludge, yay! Oatmeal. Now, Cassie, I know that you said you love, you hate oatmeal. Oh, Cassie, I'm with you. This is this is like some kind of murder. As a matter of fact, I'm wondering. I know you have to do the oatmeal for the first four days, but if this is going to go on for 26 days, I may have to just slip my wrist or probably be better to send an email to the person who made this diet and ask if there's any substitutes. Like I almost would rather eat another one of these or drink another one of these than to have to do oatmeal for longer than one day. This is terrible. I'm putting everything on it. I'm allowed to. So we've got cinnamon and I put in a little ground nutmeg and some stevia and hopes that it will make it palatable so uh, Rebecca had to get a blood test this morning so in addition to starving herself with this diet she had to starve herself in order to go get the blood test in the morning but we did it and our heads are full of cotton we I feel like I must be really badly addicted because this is terrible it's only 24 hours yesterday felt like two days like every <laughs> hour that passed I'm like what it's only 11 o'clock and morning? we were full we were very full I well, mean yeah. you know you get this big potato at lunchtime and you drink another one of these mm. um, and uh, today we're gonna be doing juices so that's kind of exciting but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we were full, but we think it's a lack of coffee. Like, we didn't realize how much coffee or caffeine we consumed. I consume a lot less than he does. I consume a lot of coffee. Because you but, I'm not, but my headache is not severe. It's not a migraine. It doesn't hurt exactly. Although, I, I took aspirin a lot yesterday just because it was foggy. You know, I was like, uh... Let me just show you this. This is his coffee cup. This is a normal size coffee cup. Okay, this is what he drinks and he fills it up constantly, all day long. This is a normal size coffee cup. This is why he has a massive headache. But to my credit, I also drink a ton of water. He does. Water, water, water. When I, more I work, I work about 45 minutes go by, I pop up out of my seat and I fill my glass of water and I fill my glass of coffee. Mm. It's about like that. So yeah, anyway, to those who love oatmeal, because there were those uh, yay. Do you eat your oatmeal without any milk? No, probably not. 
I just want to know. No. Oh, God, no. <laughs> you didn't see that, so don't worry about it. Wow. It's just that the oatmeal is <laughs> now on the table. This is. But no milk is what I was trying to point out. And I ate it yesterday. Now there's, it looks like poop on our table. And we're putting it back in the bowl. Yeah, that's what he did. He literally just did this. So today, I'm going to go with the stevia or stevia because although I like oatmeal, it was a little bland without milk or anything. So here we go. Uh, this is also freshly off the table. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. I'll have to wipe that table off later. Sorry about it's that. It's a good thing he cleaned it this morning. So what else? Uh, we have a loan from the SBA for the loss of our house. That's the Small, Small Business, Business Administration. Administration. And it was an emergency in, in conjunction with FEMA. And it was going to help us actually buy another house. Because and it's a great thing. They, they actually awarded us a hundred, a bunch of money. And, um, Can I say something? They should be. Thank you. Well, I was going to say that it's good first and then the bad news. Well, that was the good news, especially since um, our insurance, our house was insured for what it originally was worth and did not take into account to how the market has risen over time. So although we got our insurance back, which is absolutely terrific, the amount of money we got back is not going to literally buy us a decent house. As a matter of fact, we viewed some of the houses our money would buy us. We and we would not live there. They were horrible. And some of them were really tiny houses. But we're talking about houses with bugs all the way through it and not cared for. And you look at the catchment tank and you go, hmm, that's water I probably don't want to bathe in, let alone drink in. So we were excited about this loan because this loan would allow us to buy a comparable house to what we lost. Um, and we even put a bid on a house. Uh, it's a 15-year mortgage at 3.6 percent, so it was, it was great. nice, nice deal. Yeah, it would, and it would we really didn't help. have to really, you know, I mean, we uh, we were already approved, which is great. Yeah, but for some reason, I was under the impression that you know they were going to loan us this money, and because we were down and out and had lost our house, that so we here here's the money and just pay us back when you can. Well, that was stupid of me, of course, because th there's a lot of rules attached with it. One of them is that we have to use our insurance money uh, to pay for the house as well. And we thought maybe we could use the SBA loan and then to buy the house and then and then use the insurance money for other things like fixing up the house or adding a or buying a car because we go to the Big Island we, we have need to have a, a car. car. Yeah, we need. There's a lot of things that that w was needed that we can't use the loan for that we could use the insurance money for. So right. we wanted to put the lion's share of the loan down on the house and a little bit of the insurance down on the house and then the rest that we could uh, have for the moving expenses again and all that other stuff. But that's pretty much down the tubes. And that's the news there. What else about the diet? Anything exciting? Mm -hmm. I farted a lot yesterday. I, I had to go down to buy this uh, juicer. I didn't have to, but I decided that I'd been thinking about it for days. There's our, our friend Eli. Hey, Eli. And Eli, thanks for the juicer. They were going to lend us their juicer, which was really awesome. Um, but as I kept thinking about it, I thought, you know, it might be nice to have a juicer. Although I was surprised. You, you gave me less objections for coming home with a juicer than you would have if I came home with an espresso machine. And I'm, I'm curious about that. Could you explain this to our audience? Because the coffee. This I've is just been espresso. put on the spot. By the coffee, way. right? This no, it's called picking your battles. Oh. I saw that huge box and said, "Oh my God, yet another appliance in this small apartment." Tim, just shut your mouth. So I did. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> so I should have come home with the goddamn espresso machine. Is that what you're saying? It wouldn't have fit with the diet. So, we finished watching Mrs. Maisel last night. Great oh, show. Oh, so good. Fun oh, my show. gosh. She's so funny. Mm -hmm. No popcorn. No. No beer. Uh-uh. No nothing, actually. Just We actually just watched the show. We got to watch her get drunk and eat. She ate a lot of stuff. Lots of she stuff. She ate macaroni and cheese in front of us. Right. And we had these. 
No, after 7 p.m.? No food. Nothing. Not a lot to eat. No food. No, nothing. It's a great diet. We recommend it to everyone. Oh, he's just being sarcastic. You know, the upside is, is we should feel a lot healthier. I mean, when I think about it, I put a lot of salt in my food. A lot of salt. I love salt. I don't do sugars a whole lot. I even make my own chocolate with, you know, natural stuff so that it's not bad for you. But, you know, it's easy. It's easy to go overboard with foods that are not good. And this past month we did that, you know, with my birthday and going to Big Island and all that. We, we overdid it. So we're looking forward to this. We both could lose like 10 to 20 pounds. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that as well. Um, I'm looking forward to some of my clothes fitting me again. It's sobering. I mean, it's one thing to say you really love coffee, but it's another to have your body go into uh, convulsions and make it impossible for you to think or sleep or eat or have fun. And you say, wow, I got a problem here. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Now, I woke up several times last night. I suspect it was the coffee. Oh, I also had to pee a lot because I've been drinking these. So days. peeing and farting and, you know, the anima bag is yet to come. And I think that's about it for today. <laughs> I think that might be our closing note. Thanks for joining us and see you on day 24, or day 3 tomorrow with 24 more days to go. Aloha. Aloha.